hope you guys are having a good week of learning at school. Frenzy wanted to share with you guys kind of a recap of things she's learned and where she is now. We started way back in the beginning of her learning some basic things like down. Good girl. And she can do it with one fell swoop now. I don't have to point to the ground. I can just say down. Good girl, and she gets a reward. So she's learning, that she's coming really fast on that. She's learning new things like to get in into heel position is what we call heel position. That's my sleeve, get out. And so she knows to kind of stay with me. And to sit automatically when we stop. Good girl. So all of those things we're learning with our obedience training. And she's also learning some tricks. Sit. Come here, yeah, good girl. So she's getting better and faster at those tricks. I'll show that again. Sit. Yeah, good girl. So she's, we, we, since we've learned those things, we have to practice them. We have to go back and do things a second and third time. All, we, we practice them a couple times a month. So I'll go on to the disc on your spot. Yeah, good girl. So she knows to step on the, on the disc so she can get a reward, so she knows that. And remember we talked about early on her backup? We've been working on that one a long time. And I want to show you guys, I'm gonna, at the, I'm gonna show at the end of this video her progression so you guys can see how, how far she's come with her backup, she didn't know it at all in the beginning, and now watch her do it. Back up, back up. Good girl, yeah, Frenzy! Yeah, good girl! See how awesome she is at that backup? And we had to learn it in sequences, and I think that's something that we do in life. We all learn things in sequences. We don't learn things all at once. It would be weird if we learned it all at once. We all, we learn things in little sections and so we can put it all together and then it makes sense for the bigger thing. So that's how Frenzy learns. I think you guys do a lot of that in your classroom setting too. And so we put things together. I start with just this behavior sitting right here on my left hand side. And then we put together walking knows to walk by my side and then we've learned to stop and we sit and we stop and I don't have to tell her any of that I show her with the food what I want her to do so she's gotten really smart very good for just six months old you're so good frenzy so what are you guys learning that it takes a few times to learn new parts of it and then you can put it all together to have it make sense on a bigger level I'd love to hear what you guys are doing that takes little little things that you build on to make it bigger. Kind of like Legos. It's kind of cool. We think that way. That's how we learn. We start with small little Legos and we build something bigger. So that's Frenzy learning lots of cool things um, as well as she's growing and she's she's figuring out new things as she gets older and so that's why i have to continue training her i'm working her all the time I'm working her mother um, and her sister hazy's learning lots of new things and i do things that are age appropriate and a lot of times it's repetition do you guys ever get tired of having to do the same thing over and over and over again well that's what i do with frenzy so it's it's kind of how we have to learn things you can't just do it once and be done you have to practice. So something I've not really practiced with her is her rollover. And I have to really show her still because I didn't practice with her. I would like to be able to say, roll over, and she roll over. But we're not there yet. So this is where we're at. Remember, we practiced this when she was a baby puppy. So I still have to tell her down. Down. Roll over. So see, we haven't practiced it. What happens when you don't practice it? Down. So I had to really 
we show her that? So if I want her to get better, what do we have to do? We have to practice. We gotta practice more. So that's the key to learning anything new is to practice. And so I want you to take a look back at how Frenzy progressed in her backup to see where she is now. Let's try it again. Let's go. Back up, back up. Yeah, good girl. So she can back up pretty fast. Just even practicing it here, you can see she's going straighter. Well, maybe you can't see she's going straighter, but she's going straighter. Off, off. Get back up, back up. Good girl. So, yay, Frenzy. I'm very proud of her learning. So just remember that when you guys are trying to learn new things, you have to break it down into small pieces and then put it all together for it to make sense. It's kind of an easier way to learn for our brains. Hope you guys have a great week. Learn lots of new things like Frenzy. And she's going to continue learning new things as we go. And so she can be a big, smart show dog and do some obedience and rally and show in the show ring. Have a great week, you guys. I'll show you how I taught Hazy to back up. And we'll do it in segments because. Like anything, it, you can't teach it all in one fell swoop. You have to build on the building blocks. So I've got cheese, my string cheese, frenzy, and my clicker. Yeah. She knows when the clicker goes, she gets a treat. So first of all, I have, whoa, careful. I have a towel. You can use like a, a plastic gardening rug or something. Good girl. You can do um, anything that's different. So we've got grass and I've got a towel. She gets clicked for getting on the towel. So, good girl. Oops, sorry, my clicker was not right where it should have been. I'm gonna lure her on to the towel and, per and just click and give her cheese because she doesn't know what she's doing and there's nothing to tell her that she's doing it. I don't use a word, I'm just clicking and feeding. And so now I get her to stand. Good girl, good girl. So she knows her back feet are on the towel. I might help her out with one. And if she comes off the towel, there's no clicks. I just get her back onto the towel. And I'm gonna put her, I'm gonna move her back onto it and click her. So move off, move back onto it. <sighs> Trying to get her to stand up and back up. Oh, there we go. See, she's starting to get it. She's starting to figure out that she gets the clicker and the treat when those back feet find the towel. Showing her I don't have food. And I'm going to help her back because she can't do it all on her own right now. Come on. So I'm guiding her in and clicking when those feet get on there. I'm going to guide her in. I'm trying to get her to stand so she can back up. So she just, she's, yes, good girl. So when she actually takes a step back and hits the towel. Yes, good girl. I'm not feet rewarded. Reward for those back feet on the, ta on the towel. So she kind of gets that whole process. Good. I'm trying not to reward for the jumping up. Good. So do you see that? She planted her butt on the towel. So I'm going to pull her off and then push her back, not giving her anything. Good. And give her something when she her back feet hit the table, or the towel. Nothing? Yeah, good girl. So she's starting to get the hang of that walking backwards. Good, and I, I'm clicking the second both of her feet hit the towel. Good girl. I'm closing my hands, keeping the cheese in my fist, but pushing her back with it, and she gets it when she hits the towel. Girl. Good. Notice I'm not using a word for it yet because she's still learning it. Good. So I'm gonna just keep pushing her back. We've shown the journey of teaching Frenzy how to back up. We started when she was a baby puppy on a towel and associating backing up with picking those back feet up and hitting the towel. So we'll show you where she is today. She's five months old. She, I wasn't super religious about
training her this, so she's getting quite a bit better as she's gotten older. I've worked with her a few times on it, and she's done great. And so now we're we're at the point where she can be repetitive in it. Frenzy. So I've got my cheese. Back up. 